No, 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 stay there. Ah. stay there, stay there. Let, let me borrow your, your okay. camera. Okay. And I'm going to take a photo of you. You are enjoying this view and I caught you off guard. Enjoy. Yes, nice oh, yeah. yes, so with the Portuguese uh, traditional tile, red tiles, so they don't catch rain in the oh. winter. Someone once a day comes and uh, gives them food and changes the water. You see the water bowls there. Oh, that's so, sweet. so that's why you see a lot of cats around the, ca around the cars. You see mm. a lot of cats. Yes, yeah, so that's for the stray cats. Very sweet. Very cute. Yeah, so you can. see, we are amazing people here, basically. Yeah, of course. Aside, aside from being beautiful, we are also <laughs> amazing, and super intelligent, and good to animals. And very humble as well. Yeah. And, and humble. <laughs> humble. And, and form of humble, of course, yes. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I apologize, I'm biased, but I really love my cities. So. Oh, I don't blame you, it's gorgeous. The owner of the place. Doesn't care, does it? Entitled. Yeah. So cool. Beautiful. Entitled. Completely entitled. I am the owner. Thank you for And um, this neighborhood uh, started uh, being developed in the 1450s. Actually, this is the first neighborhood that we have written records on the city hall uh, that uh, uh, the city was growing, uh, they needed to expand the city, and it is the first time in Porto's history, well, 600 years ago, where they start. They say we need to start planning a new neighborhood. This was literally the first neighborhood in the city with urban planning uh -huh. 600 years ago. Wow. And uh, to give you an example, you see this normal looking street going up, wider straight. Mm -hmm. This was the first straight street in the city. 
No way. So it, it, it sounds silly, but it literally a 600 year old street, and it was the first one like like That's this. Great. Yeah. Before oh. that, people would build wherever they wanted. Ah, oh, I see. Beautiful. Oh, Freddy. Yeah, it looks good. Wait, Doesn't it looks look like a street, right? okay? So so clean. Freddy. Yeah. So nice. Oh, and he's going to his old house. Uh, we'll we'll also go through the you, that part. You probably already went through the bar area, the nightlife part of the city. No. The That fish cake is very like touristical. Yeah, it's quite but, expensive. But it is good. But it's really touristical. Yeah. So now we've become the attraction. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll 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 pose as the models that we are basically. <laughs> if you think about it, one guy riding here, looking back, shooting Perfect. video of you riding, would be really really cool. Yeah. They are more or less like a GS. Like, yeah. Like well, in euros. 22,000 euros, like 20,000 pounds maybe? Yeah, so there is um, a company in, in the UK, what's only in it? They only make, uh, they are a They only company. make this as an addition to an existing bike. Yeah. And they're very expensive, yeah. they're very well made. Yeah. yeah, beautiful, they are beautiful. Yeah. But the, the sidecar only is like starting at like 6,000 pounds and going up. Then you have to buy a bike, then you have to. Uh, yeah. Our area is pedestrian, you see the field in here. Ah. The field squeeze. And you see the so this street here in front. Your area. So here, so. <laughs> so this is little, these three parallel streets. It's all bars and restaurants and now. You see people starting to have dinner. Those places will become bars after the ah. please. See the decoration also? Did you notice the, the street lamps? Yes. The mannequins? Wow. <laughs> Show you a nice place also here. As a biker, you'll probably like find it more uh, interesting. Actually, I'm going to yeah, Monday night. A lot of things closed because they stayed open the entire weekend. The, this place here on the corner, the bar to be wild. It's uh, like a play on words with Harley Davidson. Yeah, fun to be wild. A biker place. Yeah. Really nice burgers, but uh, uh, you came here to eat Portuguese food, not burger. <laughs> but the beer is also good here, not very expensive. It's a bike bar, a biker bar. So cool. It's a, a cool place. Nice music, especially on Thursdays. They always have live music. Ah, the, the, that detail that I wanted to show you. Here, you can see an amazing thing about Portugal. See there, two beautiful people and a private guy there. On the <laughs> Beautiful detail about that, isn't it? <laughs> Happens a lot. So here you can see a great example of a very uh, distinguished Portuguese gentleman. Uh, <laughs> very good taste in motorcycles, yeah. also in apparel, but especially. 
motorcycle. <laughs> uh, great testament on how the Portuguese look amazing, are beautiful and super intelligent. Basically, yeah. and more, and more. You see how you see how he agrees with me. So I am not a liar. Very humble. Very humble. Yeah, we are all humble here. And the British people are better now. Joana Vasconcelos. This name is really cool. Thank you very nice. My, my city. <laughs> Thank you very nice. Can I borrow your camera? Oh, sure. like during the day and yeah. Uh, yeah. so welcome to Mount Pilar. Ah, Mount Pilar. Pilar. A very Spanish name, yeah, but ah. it's a saint's name. Oh. A female saint's name. Ah. You can leave your helmets on the seat on the sidecar, but uh, please take your bags with you. Yeah. Um, let me just, I'll, I'll, I'll oh. give you a quick explanation of the place. Let me just grab 
the beautiful detail about Port Sidecar Tours, which is my vintage cool cooler. That's oh, look at this. Cool. So cool. Look, so looks cool. so good on my motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when, when I saw it, I, I completely fell in love with it. That's so beautiful. <laughs> so I, and I had to have it because... Because you're only human. Yeah, yeah. basically. And I'm, human. I'm a biker with feelings. <laughs> I need what I need, so that's it. So basically, welcome to Mount Pilar. This was built in 1535 by the order of the St. Augustine monks. Uh -huh. That's why we saw that big white monastery on the back. But in 1808, Napoleon Bonaparte invaded Port coming from the north, from France. Mm -hmm. And this place, because it's such a high vantage position, was yeah. transformed into a military base. But he had an artillery position to fight against Napoleon. And that's how wow. the yeah. military base came to be. Wow. The monastery was converted into a military base. That remained until today. The only thing that remains religious is this church. Actually, beautiful church. Uh, one of five in the world, completely round. Wow. It is beautiful. Uh, you have an altar on the opposite side of the door, but the seats are in a circle also. Oh. So it's really beautiful. Oh. Uh, um, uh, yes, like very a Shakespeare. exactly yeah. like a theater. Ooh. Exactly, much more feels much more like a communion, the a service. I mean, this church only opens actually beautiful. They put a they put a red carpet and everything for for weddings. You book your wedding here, it opens, performs the ceremony, then it closes again. Wow! Welcome back. <coughs> of course, madam. And I will be your driver all Thank the way. Yeah, it's in the sidecar. Oh, of the course, I, I, I did it this weekend, and the bride looked amazing on the bike. No. Yeah. Wow. Oh, look at the locks. Oh, cute. And a beautiful sunset. Wow. They like videos. Mm. Look at all these people, man. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think it's bloody gorgeous. Bloody gorgeous. I love so it. So nice. Wow. I love our driver. <laughs> John is a legend. Big John up is a ledge. Big up John. He's the Portuguese father figure that we never knew we needed. <laughs> and I love him. I'll protect him for the end. Oh, Hannah. Oh, someone's singing down there. And Hannah, John has a surprise for us, doesn't he? Let's go. Let's go and see what it is. Can I offer you a glass of champagne? Oh, yes, please. I apologize, I only have two glasses. You are absolutely right. And very <laughs> bad example of a very good uh, <laughs> looking Portuguese. But, uh, <laughs> madams. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Just let me in a moment. Oh, 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 oh. So. look at this. Flat pack. Flat pack. <laughs> Ikea Spash. Ikea Spash. Can I do this? is a Portuguese champ oh, champagne. Yeah. You cannot call it champagne, but yeah. Portuguese. Uh, yeah. Can I open it? Yes, of course. Please. By all means. Is it gonna There's pop? only one problem with opening a bottle of anything in Portugal. You have to drink it all once of you course. open it. So I apologize. <laughs> you can only leave here after you finish the bottle. Do I drink? Let's see if we can kill someone. <laughs> Wanna film it? <laughs> Thank you. This is um, a champagne from a region of Portugal like 80 kilometers to the south wow. called uh, literally Bairrada. It's famous for the sparkling wine, not the champagne, and um, the a very typical dish, really really good, which is 12 hour roasted baby suckling pig. It's Whoa. really, really good. Mm. So, uh, I don't drink because I'm driving. <laughs> oh, to no. your health. Cheers. Thank you very much Thank for the lovely company. Thank you so much. It honestly. was a pleasure showing you my port. Oh, it's been brilliant. I really hope that you are having fun. Mm. This is the best. Best tour. We chose the best one. Thank you. Thank you very nice. No, no, thank, thank you, you very, very nice. nice. <laughs> Actually, let me take for all of you enjoying your champagne while we still mm. have sun.
make everyone fall in love with wood. So. <laughs> Consider yourself converted. <laughs> Welcome to the fold. <laughs> you are now part of my gang. <laughs> well, I do love a good conspiracy. So we have just finished the tour at Porto Sidecar Tours with John, our absolutely amazing host. It has been fantastic. He customises tours. We had a sunset tour. It was absolutely wonderful. We had champagne. I'm a little bit tipsy, I can't lie, but thankfully I'm not riding. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you're ever in Porto, hit John up. I'll put the link in the description below. Honestly, it's been a sensational night and I have absolutely loved it. So until the next time guys, please take care, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.